I V M. So it's been a great week on IVM, and I hope that you're listening to as many shows as you can. If you're not following us on social media, we're on IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. First, I'm going to tell you about a few new shows that we launched. Last week, we launched a show called Marvel's Lost and Found with Zen and Avanti. It's a show about mental health, which I think is a fairly interesting conversation to have, and you should enjoy it. We also have a new fictional fun storytelling show for all of our listeners. Croc Tales by Anand Sivakumaran is a bi-weekly show where Anand spins a story from a prompt that could be a word or a phrase coming from you. Catch these episodes every Monday and Thursday. On Simplified This Week, the trio dig further into the Football World Cup history with some trivia and silly jokes on a longer episode. On The Scene of the Unseen, Amit Verma is joined by stand-up comedians Aditi Mittal and Abbas Momin to talk about the pros and the cons of the Indian comedy scene. On Cyrus Says, Cyrus does an exit interview with his producer Naveen Narona. Naveen's going to be terribly missed around here. If you're not following him, please follow him on Twitter and Instagram. He's at House of Narona. Try and listen to as many of these shows as you can. And now, on to your show. Hi. You're listening to IVM Daily. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of IVM Daily. I'm Surbhi and today we have with us three beautiful people. <laughs> I mean, beautiful. it's just three of us and so we beautiful. need validation. Who is more beautiful? Everybody is beautiful. Uh, introduce yourself guys. I'm Swati. I'm Janam. I'm Priyanka. And I'm Surbhi. Yes, I mentioned. Uh, and today we're discussing football. Not the brainless love for it, but our complete lack of f***s. Are we on the same page about this, guys? Pretty much. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, All so. Right. We are so what? bored already with this idea of talking about football, I oh, think. Oh, God. But we need to talk about how much we hate it. Yeah. Because I personally don't care about it. I don't care about the regular season or the post-season or the World Cup. I don't I don't care who wins the World Cup or the Super Bowl. What do you guys think? What do you think, Swati? I think uh, the biggest problem with this season is that everyone becomes a football expert. Yeah, If you see Facebook or Instagram or everything, everyone shows off as if they know everything. And you know, me being a non-fan or maybe illiterate about football and footballers... <laughs> You feel like, do I have the right to survive at this point? <laughs> Should I live on this planet or not? That's true. It's kind of like that. What do you think, uh, Jana? Uh, actually, I would like to to add to what Swati said. Uh, Naveen, our ex-producer, <laughs> yeah. tweeted this morning saying, uh, Okay, straight boys, what social media outlet can one enjoy without your... <laughs> FIFA <laughs> analysis every two minutes. Yeah, and I found this so accurate because ev- on every social hmm. media platform, like people who are who I thought were not even into football are talking about football, and yeah, it just changes the person for you. Like if I like if I know a person and suddenly during football season he's talking about football, I'm like you're not the same person anymore. Yeah, I cannot look at you the same way again. Also. Every time you go out to like a bar or something, they are yeah. playing the match. Oh my god. So just last week, I went with my boyfriend to have like a quiet conversation. And we walked into that bar. And firstly, all the bars were noisy. Mm. So we found this rather quiet one. And we walked in and after two minutes, suddenly, I didn't even see a screen there. I just walked in and turned like to the, towards the side. And suddenly, I heard people screaming oh and they were cheering for a goal or something I don't know whatever <laughs> oh my god what's the goal <laughs> <laughs> and I would think something is wrong there definitely and so I, I a to goal one second I just want to cut you a goal is what you score when uh, when you end up with a guy you really like <laughs> Ooh, that's how it does now make you like football that's life goals <laughs> I have to cut you on this Jano okay, okay. So this okay. is my goal <laughs> it's fine but people get the point like basically everywhere you go out there's it's all bullshit. Yeah. Priyanka, what do you think? Okay, so I'm I'm not into the sport at all. Mm-hmm. Um, but of course, there's all sorts of like craze about it around me. However, I mean, don't get me wrong, but so um, I was in Bangalore last week and uh, my brother's house, the balcony faces a football turf. Okay. okay. And um, because of space crunch otherwise, a lot of these residential areas are just popping up with like turf so that people get out and play. Mm. And there's a lot of such stuff in Bangalore. Okay. So I had this awesome view of sexy, sweaty men like trying to play it out. <laughs> and now that is great. Okay. So I want others to play as, as much because it's, it's just so much fun to watch. Secondly, uh, I don't follow the sport, but I feel like, you know, there's some things that I, I was observing. So if you, you're not an athlete, hmm. um, you know, like your footwork, right? Like if you are just someone with two left feet, if there's something you should do, it's probably 
play like whatever football because it really helps you like uh, your for flat feet also like it just works your foot out ex- especially if you're someone really lazy like me mm-hmm. so i've just been you know playing home football and stuff like that so i haven't been following uh, the sport as much um totally something about this game so i'm not sure if you guys have heard about the uh, burger king uh, uh, controversy that happened no, no. so this is ad a campaign that went out in Russia about uh, how basically Burger King will supply unlimited like burgers to women who got pregnant by these footballers okay really? in a place like Russia it was really sad and then they got worldwide flack for it because they're like what are you trying to promote here yeah, of course really so weird. it is Yeah it was just so bizarre. Weird. Yeah. It was bizarre. I thought you were going to complete the sentence by saying something like uh, if they got pregnant during the uh-huh. football tournament like you know while the then they would g- get supplies or something like yeah. that. Yeah. But this yeah, is this is so strange. Basically to get you know how you say oh this guy has like football genes so to see where who lands up mm. with the football genes and to promote like the Now, game that's and a different kind of promotion. Yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> just so weird that they put it out like and uh in contrast i'm sorry i'm talking a little too much but i'm just pumping out all the information that i have during the world cup so the, the other thing that happened i think in iran women until now were not allowed, allowed to, to uh, watch, watch it. a football yeah. match to watch it i mean in the stadium okay. in the stadium yeah. uh yeah. they they're pretty like they can't be in the same space with yeah. uh, men the opposite sex yeah. so for watching a game that has like men oozing from everywhere is just not <laughs> is just not happening so these are like a bunch of things that caught my attention but i think yeah football for footwork right guys you should try it i i feel it's too much of an investment I know. at this point because you're already following and watching so many things that's true and but can i ask so much you guys content? why can i ask you guys why Why you don't you what? not follow? Because it's too much to follow something. Sometimes you <laughs> yeah. just want to live, and I don't want to watch another sport. No, like it's not God. going to end for four weeks, and that's a long commitment. Yeah, long time. Yeah. I have stopped watching cricket also for the same reason because it doesn't end. This IPL, then this T20, uh, then ends. there's another World cup, another World Cup. Yeah. We need to all relax for like six months and not do any sports. Just maybe nap. Yeah, great yeah. idea. Just take a nap. Hibernate. But do you guys remember any like football incidents that like maybe even though you haven't followed it because I remember the one with Zinedine Zidane I don't okay. want to say it right and I don't really care <laughs> but do you remember the headbutt thing one on his last match he actually got he like he went hard and he headbutted like another player and You're talking like, about this world cup No 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 it's long back it's I don't remember back. anything but just remember <laughs> okay. one thing and that it made to my timeline because it was, be- became a meme Okay. Do you remember any like football no. incident? I remember one where it, it, this one also became a meme where they made this weird statue of Cristiano Ronaldo, and oh. it didn't look anything oh, like him. Oh yeah. yes, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. that became such a meme. It, His it was, jawline was something yeah. very distorted. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. remember that. And uh, this World Cup only now that you um, yeah. you were talking about this incident uh, when Argentina was out this time and uh, people were posting on Facebook bye bye Messi so mm. I just thought to myself that okay now Messi is going to come to Facebook and say you know thank you so much for you know all your support and all your love all through these years and now I am in tears w- what do you think that Messi is going to do with all your posts on Facebook why are you doing that what what is the purpose of that I don't understand that that's true <laughs> yeah people are just self validating right now in our studio <laughs> <laughs> there was a si- moment of silence <laughs> i know we were just like let's just all pause and respect this uh, also another thing i hate about football is how they've completely ripped off this game by fifa hmm. fifa football yeah the sport hmm. came after the game you, i yeah. hope you guys know that yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Wait, what you didn't know this? The, they completely they brought the game. So the FIFA uh is a game by EA Sports. They came up with a game around I thought the game came after uh, the Wow, sport. that's where you're wrong. Okay? That's you So Surbi knows wrong. something She's done about her research. Her yes. yes. This research. is yeah. Surbi's moment, guys. Let her have it. Oh. <laughs> I have nothing else to say, but I I do want to talk about how our social life has been taken away because everybody is just talking about football. and i need that to stop yes and because we don't know anything about it so it's even more grave for I us know. to see 
that kind of knowledge coming from so many people around that we are so ignorant exactly priyanka do you have any family members who talk about football all the time no they don't they keep their emotions and views to themselves which is great that is great <laughs> what about you chan nope None. nobody close to you no wow i don't i don't I, think I, i'm like with these people <laughs> 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 you what about no you one, Swati? no one no one talks to me about football wow. they know i don't know anything i guess i'm the only unlucky person in this room how do you deal with this i generally just uh, unfriend no i just, just go into your mental like yeah, space my, my, <laughs> my mental happy space i like, take it all in <laughs> Yeah, let it be. And I, but I, I, I don't forget it. I, I feel like I, like I then I make an internal plan that I have to come back to you with one of my favorite shows and then go on about it for four weeks. Yes, then you should you do know. that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's about it, guys. We had some plain hate to talk. Nothing constructive. Yeah, <laughs> it's all just plain hate. I hope you had a good time. And if you want to hate football along with us or just. Whatever you if can, you don't agree with us, that's also fine. If you don't agree with us, well, please don't send us anything on our social media <laughs> because we don't want any of that. But Priyanka, where can people reach out to you? Priyanka one zero nine one. I was going to say you know where to call me, <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, oops, no, not um, giving out my number. Yeah, <laughs> no not giving way. out my number. Though if you have a Twitter handle, that sounds like some uh, number. It's actually, emergency number. Yes, it's actually women's helpline number. Yeah, <laughs> I stand in by Delhi. it. I stand. By, oh, great! Even yeah. better. You know, yes. in a city that needs it the most. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's Priyanka one zero nine one. Yeah, it's like a NGO that's like call if you're unsafe, call on Priyanka. Call our service, Priyanka one zero nine one. Yes, great yeah. idea. I'll do. I'll work towards. This. Yeah. Thank you. What about you, Swati? I'm on Swati Bakshi zero two, and this is Twitter. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm on Twitter. I'm uh, at Chanam the Bun. I'm on Twitter as well. I'm at Small Talk Police, and that was Chanam, Swati, Priyanka, and Surpi. That's it, guys. See you on the other side. Bye. 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 As you can see, we have a podcast listener in his natural habitat. Billions of years of evolution have led him to this point. He's on his way to work, and listening to podcasts makes his miserable day better. He will now head to work and use all his knowledge to communicate with other colleagues and possibly future mates. You can find more of his species on ivmpodcasts.com, your one-stop destination where you can check out. all the coolest indian podcasts happy listening